Nope. <laughs> mute mic situation. I don't know who mutes it. Is it you that mutes it? I don't think I mute it. I don't finish it. I don't finish the stream and then mute it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, hello everybody and happy crafting. Uh, I hope you've had a wonderful week and that you're ready to get all nice and crafty with me. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've got Roberta here already. Hello. And Jasmine has just si uh, joined us. I was going to say sounded us. No sound, it says. That was me and my... Um, mute section there's a sound but a slight crackle said jasmine is that still the case please let us know i did notice that my um aerial on this mic is a little bit a little bit raggedy i think it's probably a little old so i'm wondering if that has something to do with a crackle i don't know but please do let us know rangers here as well I'm going to be crafting, and by crafting, I mean snoozing. Hey, buddy. Going to craft dog tonight. He's a good boy. And I just said goodnight to Piper, who's off to bed. And she said that she wants me to make a card for her. And it needs to have orange in it. It needs to have green in it. And it needs to have horses. So I don't know what we're going to end up doing, but hopefully we can come up with some sort of a plan together. What do you guys think? Oh, a little bit of a crackle. Okay, well, I'll keep an eye on it. Actually, what I'll do is I will turn off my mic and turn it on again. So hold fire. Hold fire. So I'm hoping... That's it rebooted now. Is that any better, perhaps? Let's see. Can you hear anything, Craigie? Bit of a crackle? Let's see if we can fix it before we get too far into the game. Craig is on the task, guys. So, orange, green, and horses. And I was going to pull out the, what is it called? Let me see. The Hey There stamp set. In fact, it might still pull that out for now. So we've got the Hey There stamp set. Um, but then I also have my Fluffy Puffy Unicorns, which if you remove the horn, actually just looks like a little horsey. So we could maybe use... Um, one or both of these and I'm also thinking I might go autumnal I'm not sure yet we'll see <laughs> hey candy Hi. oh I'm so excited that you're here yay for not working on a Friday so I hear that you are uh, off work today and next week so hopefully see you then too and um it's not too bad, says Roberta. Well, we'll see what Craig can get up to whenever he gets gets on with his bits and bobbies. So, what are you guys thinking? Maybe we could have a little selection of things. Let's get. Let me let me go and grab. Um, I think maybe the fence from Who Let the Dogs Out. We could maybe use that. in a card and let me see what else do we have here you fixed it mm -hmm. yay thank you so much well done nice and clear and i yeah. who knows what it was probably something crazy all right, so what do you guys think? I'm thinking a little, little fancy coming along here and maybe some like tree tops along the top. Let me see if I can get my 
you can maybe get something like this to kind of look like treetops along the top. This is from the Slimline Scenery dies. And then maybe we could put a horse, a, a hilly grass with a horse. Awesome. Maybe we could put the um, horse in here, maybe some hay as well. I was going to do this with, um, I was going to do this almost like a canopy of trees, but I'm wondering if we should instead do it like this way. So it's um, sort of like hedge, hedgerows in the background. That might be cool. And then these can come along in, the, in front of it. And then a hill with a little horsey. That might work. What do you guys think? Shall we go with that? Uh, let's pop these down for now and grab some. Uh, let's go for alcohol marker friendly cardstock to start with. And we'll stamp a few of these elements to get us going. So how has everyone's day been so far? Have you had a good day? What have you been up to? Today's been one of those days where um, I was thinking, I'm going to be really productive. I'm going to get X, Y, and Z done. It's going to be amazing. And it just didn't happen. Craig had ordered a worktop, like a breakfast bar, like wooden worktop breakfast bar thing to, it's to go in his office, it's, it's to create a desk. You're gonna balance it on top of two, like Alex drawer units and then have the desk on top. And we had to, we had to go and borrow um, a pickup truck so that we could go and pick it up and bring it home. And it is heavy, like super, super heavy. And we got it in, got it loaded up in the truck, got it home, managed to get it in the house. And Craig has just pulled off the wrapping. It was like wrapped in card. And there's a big split down it. So our plans this weekend <laughs> was to get to that or ready to go in his office. I guess that's not gonna happen. So sad. Candy says, love these unicorns. They are great unicorns. They're very, very cute. My fluffy puffy unicorns. I'm gonna go for um, my hay there stump set for just now anyway. And I think I will pop it here and stamp that. Where's my white bean? Did I see a sign up for a Heffy Doodle Instagram or blog hop for later this year? Is it still open? Because I'd love to join. Yay! Yes, Jasmine is doing a um, Heffy Doodle hop, like a fans of Heffy Doodle hop. And she is collecting names and projects. So please reach out to uh, Jasmine, which is Jasmine Crafty Makes, I believe, on Instagram. But Jasmine has no E on the N. So just Jasmine, J A. S M I N. Jasmine. No E. Right, let's see. I think I'm probably going to need a good few of these fences.
Okay, Jasmine is saying sign up is available until the 19th of May. Perfect. I, sorry, 19th of July, not May. Sorry, I'm being a silly sausage. Right. I'm going to do one more of these just in case I don't have enough. I'd rather have too many than not enough. Because I have too many, I'll just pop it in the back of my stamp set, my stamp pocket, and use it another time. Awesome. Yes, Jasmine Crafty Makes. Feel free to message me and I'll send you the sign up link. There's Jasmine. Awesome thoughts. Here we go. So I think I'm going to start today with some coloring. Normally I like to start with um, some, some more interesting stuff, I guess. <laughs> um, like uh, coloring a background or whatever. I think probably because Copic coloring takes, or at least it can take quite a long time. And I never want you guys to get bored watching me just Copic color all the time. Not that you necessarily would, but who knows. I understand so that you can see me. So I've got E33 and E35 here. And what else shall I do? E31. Jasmine says, I'm so excited to have a feed full of Happy Doodle projects. It's the week of my birthday too, so extra celebration. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Candy says, love your new craft room and the tour the other day. Yay, I'm glad that you had fun. Yes, we have been in the new Heffy HQ. And it's it's been really good. The only thing is that we we don't have desks as yet because I use this desk in here and I need it still for lives. So I can't really take my desk out of here to go into a Happy HQ. So uh, I had another little desk in the corner over here where my computer was sitting. And after like the first day, I was like, right, I can't handle being out in Heavy HQ without a desk. So I um, stole that desk and put my monitor on the ground. But then today I've had to take one of my other units and put my monitor on it so that I can do the live with you guys. And already I'm thinking that was a bad idea because my inks are in that unit. <laughs> hey ho, we'll get there. That was my plan for getting Craig's worktop sorted because he has a desk the same as this one, this guy. So my plan was get Craig's worktop sorted in his office, steal his desk. <laughs> Yay! Everybody's happy. And by everybody, I mean me. Does all that really count anyway? Craig, <laughs> Craig will just work wherever. He doesn't care. Is Piper excited about summer break? Asks Roberta. 
Yeah, she is. Um, today was the last day, so I think she is excited. And um, there's some like little kids that are in our area here. And with having lockdown and everything, she hasn't really had an awful lot of time to hang out with them and make like real good friends with them as yet. And yesterday, kind of out of nowhere, these like group of kids appeared in our garden with Piper. And I was like, oh, kids, yes. And uh, they were hanging out in the trampoline and stuff. So I thought that was just really nice to see that it's been a little bit sad that if, if it moved here when it wasn't a pandemic, we would have, I think, had more of an opportunity for the kids to play with each other, etc. But a lot of the, um, with the restric restrictions, kids haven't been able to to play with with one another um, and of course for a little while one of the little kids would come around and play in the garden but whenever the weather's been rubbish not really easy to do so it doesn't last very long over here in Scotland anyway well, I have to say, I can't really complain. We've had lovely weather recently. Today, though, super cold. Super duper cold today. I had to crack out the big fluffy jacket. Oh, my stomach's grumbling. And I feel like it must have been around about this time that we were at... Um, Junkie Fest candy, do you remember? Because um, it came up in my Facebook memories the other day. And I was at Carmel by the sea. And I see Amanda's just joined. Hi, Amanda. And it came up on my memory, my Facebook memories, my Google photo uh, memories. The, um, I drove, to, we drove down to LA with my friend. And we stopped off. I don't know where it is, but you'll know Amanda because it had all the elephant seals. And I remember you said to me that you had just passed it not long, long before. So I was like, no, missed you. So yeah, it must be kind of round about Junkie Fest time. It always makes me like really nostalgic, but also like a little sad because it was so good. But hey ho. Roberta says, with nice space, will you be able to have classes there? Um, we haven't really thought much about classes. Um, I did think a little bit about maybe doing classes, like even if it was just for kids over the summer, just to keep them out of mischief. Um, but I might do classes that were a little bit remote, but I'm sure we'll be able to find people that are interested in classes if we wanted to do them. We'll see. We're still trying to kind of get on top of things and um, we free up some, some time for classes. That would be really cool. I think if we wanted to, we could have the space. It's just with COVID regulations and things, it might be a little bit challenging. So I've painted my painted. I've colored in my hay as well. And I'm going to do a horse, but I'm not really sure what color I want the horse to be. Horse. Let me let me know what you think while I catch up on my comments here. Had Piper settled in with the move? Everything good with life? <laughs> 100 questions, but I missed you. Yes, everything's really good. We are um, settling in. And um, Piper kind of struggled a little bit with school to start off with. I think it would. she would have done much better if it wasn't for the whole COVID thing. Like I say, it's been a bit harder to to adjust whenever there's so much restrictions and you can't really hang out with people in houses and things, but she's done really well. Nothing of massive concern. 
which is good. Chris posted that she's thinking of Junkie Fest 2020. Yeah. That would be amazing. <laughs> oh, yes, Amanda says, you were at, we were at the same rest stop that day. Small world. I know. I only wish that we'd been there at the same time. Sad. Next year. <laughs> All right, let's see. What color are we going to do? My little horsey. Amanda's going to Scrapbook Expo in a couple of weeks. That's going to be good. That's going to be real good. Let's see, we'll put a black saddle on this horsey who Nice. Gray with spots. So a dapple color, you think? That could work. Although I was I was um passing some horses in a field the other day. And it occurred to me that Horses are not all one color. Like the horses that I saw were, I don't know if the term is piebald or something like that, but like patchy essentially. And they looked really beautiful. But I thought to myself, I don't think I would ever color a horse like that. I think it would look fake if I did that. <laughs> So I have added a little bit of gray. Actually, I put cool gray around the outside, but I'm coming in with warm gray because I think the cool was a little bit much. A little bit too on the blue side. This is looking good. And W3. Candy says, Amanda, that will be awesome. Still doing virtual Bruce Monroe in August, but hope to get to Taylor's um, August one in person. That would be so good. I was actually speaking to a friend the other day to see if we could do some sort of a Maybe a virtual retreat. We shall see. See how that goes. Let me go and press the button over here. Um, so what color hair does this horsey have? Should we go for some nice long blondish hair? I'm not sure if this is a combo that is realistic, but anyway. I'm actually going to go and grab some browns from my tri blends or something so I can get a nice fine tip because in, with these markers, they're quite a thick tip, so it's harder to get in detail. So I'm going to go and grab some of that. Here we go. I've got an earth brown blend. We get a little bit more variation in here. 
Amanda says, that sounds awesome, Leslie. Count me in and link if you need a hand. Yay! I think that would be really fun. All right. Let's put a black. What is it called on there? Is it a bridle? Is it, is it like a bridle, the thing that comes on their, um, around their nose? Sure. Oh, I think that's really cute. Let me, let's have a look. What do you guys think? I hope Piper likes it. Let's cut these out and then that means that we can we can then um, try and fit them in on a card into a design. Hey Tali, how are you? Where is my hey there? Here it is. All right. I think that's done. Hi, Marcy. So for those of you who have just joined in, before she went to bed, Piper said, Mummy, I want you to make me a card. It has to have orange on it. It has to have green. And um, it needs to have horse on it. So that was my mission. So I have stamped out some images. The horse and the hay bale from the hay there stamped it. Some gate from Who Let the Dogs Out. And some clouds from Fluffy Puffy Unicorns. And I'm not sure how it's all going to come together, but we shall see. <laughs> Uh, suggestions welcome as always. What does everybody else have planned for the weekend? I'd love to know. Seeing as our weekend plans will be somewhat changed to what we thought they were going to be. We'll be doing a lot of uh, work at home. We'll still be able to build uh, Craig's new Alex units. I will build them because I'm more of an IKEA furniture builder than he is. The problem is I might not give them to him. I love an Alex. When I was buying them for him, I was like, mm, should I should I just buy myself another one? I mean, I I'm sure I could use it. <laughs> And then I told myself, wait until we renovate upstairs and I've got a purpose-built craft room. And then I can have all the Alexes I want. <laughs> oh, orange sun and green grass, says Amanda. Oh, we could do like a sunset. Orange is like a sunset. That would work, wouldn't it? That would be really cool. Maybe like an orangey spiced marmalade um worn lipstick kind of a, a blend. Oh yes, I'm seeing that now. And then some grass at the front. Green and orange. If you were tasked to make a card that was green and orange with a horse on it, what do you think you'd do? My immediate um, thought was 
I could just do a rainbow, which has both green and orange. <laughs> then I thought, feels like cheating. <laughs> Michael will be in the dad chat tomorrow night with Corin's husband Tim and Daniel West and Gina Kay's husband Tom. It's going to be fun. What is this dad chat? What is that, Amanda? You'll need to tell me what that is. I'm obviously missing a trick somewhere here. Need to get Craig in on that action. All right, let's get my little cloudies. I think this must be this one. Oh, the dad challenge. The dad challenge. Is it a, is it a YouTube or a video or Zoom or something? Must be out of the loop. You have to tag me so I can watch it. Jasmine says, I laughed so hard at the last one. Oh, I am missing a trick. The dads will all be making a card live on Corin's ch channel tomorrow night. Oh, amazing. I'd love to watch that. Oops, that's the wrong one. Should ask Craig if he uh, wants in on the action. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I have my I have my fence panel and I have some clouds if we wanted to go for some clouds in the background on our sunset here we might bring this down a bit actually have some grass along the front with this here and a nice sunset in the back I think that's going to look really cool let me put my dies away and then we can get inky. This is going to work perfectly. Now I'm going to add um, some green to this. So let's see. This is where I have to walk over to the other side and pull out some ink from a cupboard or from a unit that's on the wrong side. I may actually go for distress inks. Let's try these. Let's do citron. You should join us on YouTube. Yay! Andy says, I'm crafting now. Work tomorrow, 7.30 to 2, and then craft more on Sunday. Yay! Marcy says, she's just got back from a drive to the coast. Yay! Cool. Sounds lovely. And you're getting ready to craft your little heart out. Mm. 
Ranger has abandoned ship. He's moved over to the other side of the room. Must be must be too warm over here. He's like fled out on the cold floor, bless him. Candy says she's making a set of rainbow mini slimline cards to put in her Etsy store. Nice. Tally must have made a badger card. Ooh, I have to, can't wait to see it. Is it one of Amy's designs? Michaela's here. Hey, Michaela. Let's see what's happening. Um, let's do a little bit of clean up here. Let's see. Tally says, can't resist a Potter card. Oh, did you do a, um, what is the Budger one? Is it Hufflepuff? I can't remember now. Gosh. Oh no, Ravenclaw, of course it is. <laughs> it's Amy's Badger and Tally did an amazing job. Oh, awesome. I can't wait to see. <laughs> and Candy's trying to use up six by six paper pads. I know. I moved everything around in here. And definitely six by six paper pads is something that I have lots of and don't use enough of. I'm going to go and grab the fancy foliage stencil and I'm going to see if I can add a bit of texture to this. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Just wanted to give the impression of grass a little bit, if you know what I mean. So don't really want it all over the place. Want it in certain areas. There we go. Can you see it? Kind of gives the impression of grass. Tally says mowed lawn is my favorite. We were, I was talking about you earlier, actually, Tally, because I was saying, I was asking everyone what was their most used color. And I remember you saying that mowed lawn was your most used. A lot of people said tumble grass. I think there was one that was Wilted Violet, might have been Jasmine actually. Cool beans. So here we're gonna have our grass and I think I might just go for a, a straight edge rather than a grassy hill. And I don't want it to be too uh, deep. So I'm just going to go to about here. And in fact, good news is that will probably fit through my mini die cutting machine. And also, I can probably cut the other side as well. And keep it for a rainy day. Candy says I cut the six by six in half. Perfect for a mini slim panel. That I can then mat with a coordinating color, add a centimeter image, and it's good to go. Cool. Oh, that's a good idea.
I don't think I've ever made a mini slimline yet. Jasmine's all about wilted violet. Twisted citron, picked raspberry, squeezed lemonade, says Roberta. Peacock feathers for blue. There's so many great colors though. How can you possibly choose? Oopsies. Die overboard. that back in there. All right, so now I have two grassy panel, one for a rainy day. And if we just pop this down here for now. I can die cut it using my stitch rectangle if I so wish even. And I'm going to put in my fence, like there. Awesome, I love it. And then, we could do a bit of a sunset at the back, maybe orange, pink kind of tones coming down. So let's see. Actually, this is another another scrap, but it will fill the top section. So I think I can probably work with that. And um, I'm going to grab a pen or a pencil if I have one. And this panel is not too wide, so I'll not go too far. So this panel, uh, my pencil go to about here. So the thing that I noticed is that my fences have got white behind them. And I don't think anyone will really care. But if I have a completely colored background and then I put my fence on them, I find that the fence really pops out because of the white behind. So what I'm going to try and do is keep this section of my panel actually like fading into white. I'm gonna try and be strategic about life here a second. It might not work, <laughs> but sure. Doesn't matter, but doesn't work. Spiced marmalade. Oh no, 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 no. Dried marigold, please, I think. And I was gonna say worn lipstick. But maybe abandoned coral would work. Ooh, that's gonna be quite deep. What was the what's the the new pink one? Um Kitsch Flamingo, is that what it's called? Let me go see if I can find that. That might might be worth giving that a, a go to test out that blend. If I can find it. There's the oxide, but I want the ink. It must be hiding on me. Let's check back over here. Turn the glass. Here you are, my dear. If I can find a blending tool. That could work for it. All right, so I've got my worn lipstick and then I've also picked out a kitsch flamingo. See what happens. Oh! Love. <laughs> Tally says, you know, I've never made a slimline card. I always end up cutting it down in the end. There's too much space. Really? Wow. Amanda says, minis are my favorites. I'll have to give it a go. Mm. 
And here's my catch flamingo. Looking luscious. And dried marigold. I think I'm going to use another one of these domed applicators for this because I might find it easier. Easier to blend. Get my muscles into it. And hopefully this will turn out a little bit like sunset kind of situation. I'm gonna come back in with my pink. Darken up that blend. I think that's looking really cool. Might bring down the the orange just a wee bit more. The blend in the middle is just divine. Jasmine is in love with slim lines. Nessa's here. Hey, Nessa, how you doing? Nessa, I'm on a mission tonight because Piper has said that she wanted a card that has green, that has orange, and that has a horse on it. So that was my mission for tonight. <laughs> I'm working hard on it. We've got some green. We've got some orange. And we've got a little horsey here. And I'm just going to see if I can try and put it all together on a card. I'm going to cut out the top of this with the um, stitched imperial rectangle die. I'll run that through my Gemini. that Awesome thought. Oh. oh no, you didn't. You cruel, cruel thing. How sad for me. Well, I guess we'll need to do that one again. So rude. So rude. Take two, I guess. Take two. I think that one's a bit splashy. New piece of paper. Take two. That was annoying. <laughs> Nessa says, wow, that's some combination. Yeah. Let's bring this one over so that I have a little bit of guidance on how far down 
I want all these to be. I'll try that again. Light it together. Yeah, I think I probably would if it didn't have the stitching on it. I think it's probably just going to be easier just to start again. It won't take that long. There's just two colors, so that's fine. Piper likes to give us challenges. Whenever she was like three or four, she, um, Craig went off to Japan and not Japan, China. He wishes it was Japan. He went off to China and, um, he said to Piper, what do you want me to bring you back? And she said, a reindeer. It was something like May or something. And her Craig went to every shop conceivable to try and find something with a reindeer on it to bring home for her. But it wasn't easy. It's not exactly in season. Or reindeers um, but he did it he found something and when I went to America it might have actually been junk the junkie fest trip I'm not quite sure um she said she wanted a seahorse so I had to bring her back a seahorse and trying to find something that had um like a seahorse in it or a toy with a seahorse um, yeah, it was challenging. <laughs> she gets a kick out of it. <laughs> All right. Let's cut this out and then I can... blend it a bit more if I need to bring the collar down. And let's try and make sure it doesn't maneuver this time. I can't believe that. <laughs> Ta-da! It worked. It worked, it worked, it worked. You needed a little encouragement at the bottom there. I'm going to stick this on here. But let's cut that out as well. And hope for the, hope for the best that it doesn't maneuver. Let me grab some tape. Fresh bit of tape. And I might as well grab a card base. While I'm here. The colors in this grass are like amazing. I love them. Really vibrant. Sally, that's the fun of the Slimline Mini. Six and a half by three and a half. Cool. Not too much space then. You can't get overwhelmed. I used to experience that a little bit when I was doing scrapbooking. That sort of six by six pages and eight by eight pages were fine, but 12 by 12 became um, just a little bit daunting and intimidating. 
And then once I started doing 12 by 12s, the six by six and the eight by eights were never big enough. I think you get used to a certain style or a certain um, amount of, oh, let me let the dog out, a certain amount of real estate. Night one. Here you go, bubs. This wants to lie in the corridor. Give them a go, yeah. You can do it. So I'm adding a bit of tape to the back of this grassy panel. Because I'd like to stick down my fences like so. But I'm going to trim off the white bit on the left on all of them and attempt to somewhat join it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. The bigger cards are neat for clean and simple cards too. Lots of white space and it makes it feel clean. Says Amanda. Yeah, I agree. Okay, hopefully this is enough and I don't have to do another sneaky one. Looks like I might. Oh, the overlap made a wee bit of a difference. Or we move them all along slightly, which might be my preferred solution of laziness. Yum. I'm going to move this one over a smidgen. Yeah, I think that will work. Look. What a beaut. So good. Andy says, I agree, Amanda, but I have to learn to embrace the white space. <laughs> so we get what you're saying there. Ooh, lush. We've got our little horsey. And we have our bale of hay, of course. And we've got some clouds as well here. And we've got some white space going on here too. So the next question for you guys is what are we going to put on this as a sentiment? Ooh. 
what do you think? Any suggestions? I'm loving how it's all coming together. I think it looks really pretty. I think it looks really, really pretty. What shall we do as a sentiment? Hmm? And while you're thinking, I will start sticking. <laughs> Hope you're not too hoarse. <laughs> I don't think I've got very many horse puns, to be honest. Um, we've got hey, as in H-A-Y, hey there, or hey, a friend, or something like that. Do we put hey there on it? actually maybe we should turn it into like a different kind of scene um we've been watching once once upon a time have you guys seen it so piper and i have started watching it and it we're just we've literally just finished the first season and um spoiler alert there is a section where Snow White nearly falls off her horse and the queen saves her. So maybe what she do is do Snow White with her horse. We could do an apple, the wicked queen. Dun, dun, dun. Let's pop this onto my card blank anyway. Amanda says, Kelly loved that show. I've seen bits and pieces. It was fun. Kelly loved the show. I've seen bits and pieces. It was fun. Yes. Um, a few days ago, we watched the, um, oh, sorry guys, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, panic stations. A few days ago, we saw the season finale. There's quite an emotional scene. It's like gripping me like this. Bless her. It all turned out in the end, obviously. Let's see. I managed to put my ATG replacement refill in incorrectly. And I haven't fixed it yet. And I keep forgetting about it right up until the moment where I'm going to attach a card base to a card. And then I have to struggle with stupid double thing sticky tape. I should know better. Okay, okay. Stick this on and my little hay bale, maybe. We'll raise up the horsey with a foam dot or two.
or three. Looks like you might be able to take three, actually. Amanda, how's your uh, craft room plans coming along? Oh, actually, Tally asked how my craft room, my renovations are coming along. Happy HQ is finished. Boop, 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 boop. So the Happy HQ is finished and we are in, um, which we're really excited about. Um, but there's still some things that need to be done in our actual house. So um, we have to fix Craig's office because he needs a desk. So we I've got some units to build this weekend and we need to move our sofa into the other side of this room. And then we need to order a double bed and then we can have visitors, which we're, I'm like super excited about. I was talking to Amy from Purple Crafty Frog and Joe from Time for Tea and I was trying to convince them to come and come and visit. Jasmine, you should come up at the same time too. It would be a crafty craftathon. That would be amazing. So much fun. Let's break these off. Oh, no, wrong one. Wrong one. There we go. So let me go and grab the Happily Ever Crafter stump set. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it, but I possibly could. for Snow White. Let's see. You can have Snow White here. Like this. Let's color it in and see what we think. Camera's timing out tonight. Now I know in um, the Disney Snow White, she had short, like a bob, I guess. But in the show that we're watching, she actually has long, like curly hair. I'm going to leave her hair like this. Um, if I can find my C5. Or my C3 will work. Very squeaky, this one. Obviously running out of juice. Cuteness. Wait, wait, we have to season two. Oh, she has both throughout the show. Yes, so she has long black hair in the fairy tale time and in 
I don't know what you call it, present day. She has, in the real world, she has got like a pixie cut. I do think I'm gonna have to do her dress somewhat like the, um, the iconic um, Snow White though, just so that I can make her um, recognizable. So let me see if I can Google her, Snow White. There we go. We've got blue, actually got little cap sleeves, which works well. So let's go blue up top. Little dots of red on her sleeves. There we go. And yellow dress. Now her whole dress is yellow. I'll just do this bottom section that's yellow as well. Make it work. And she has got a little headband in the Disney movie, of course. And this doesn't have a headband, but it does have a little crown. So we will just, should we use that? Or maybe we could just draw it on. I'm sure that would work fine. I think I might need a head as a guide. <laughs> Let's see. Stamp her head there on there and then just draw it on like so. Final day. And I'll color that in. And I'm actually just going to color the, um, sorry, cut this one out up to the line and stick it on flush. So it looks like it's part of the design. Of course I need to give her little rosy cheeks because Snow White had rosy cheeks, huh? Oh, 
Oh, a pink and orange dress is what Nessa was suggesting. That would have been a good idea. Right, where is my happily ever crafter? Dive. So we can cut out snow. I hope Piper's going to enjoy this. Lost my face again. There it is. And let's cut out this headband right up to the edge. Fussy cut. See, Piper would be proud. <laughs> so I've done the top edge. I'm just going to now go in with my brush marker and come along the edge to get rid of that white core. On the card. Awesome. And attempt to do this uh, the same on the inside without getting it all over my hands. And then we need a tiny bit of glue to glue that down. So I've spread some um, glue bird onto my a scratch piece of memo tape and spread it really thin. And then rubbed it off the edge like this. We get a nice coating. Of the glue on there. That was going to say, I've just realized you're using the same stamp. So I've used this week, I used Happily Ever Crafter in my scrapbook pages. And hey there, yesterday. Yeah, you must have subconsciously inspired me. Maybe snow could be here and um, like I totally feel like I want to do the evil queen. <laughs> Let me, um, so in my little angel, let me see if I can find it, my little angel. Angel has, um, the angels have, have like a Bob, which is kind of more in line with the um, evil queen kind of situation. But I'm wondering if... <laughs> Obviously the evil queen is not angelic at all. Maybe we could turn her into a big meanie. <laughs> I think it'll be funny if I can. Not sure if it's going to work. But I'm never sure things are going to work. So let's just do it. <laughs> so let's stamp this out. Grab my my um baby wipe wrap it by my finger and then using my nail kind of get into all those little grooves 
where I want to remove the ink. Let's give that a go. Regina's a bit harder because she um she's pretty much just wears black all the time. It would probably make more sense if she had some sort of cleavage on show because that seems to be all that she uh, has going on in the in the show. Let me first of all draw in her head. Like so. Oh, dark purple. Yes, dark purple is a good evil color. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. Let me see. Let's work with dark purple. I'm going to do her hair first of all because she's got real dark, dark hair. Put a briny undertone to it. And I'm definitely going to need to pull out an apple from, oh, I think it's Cool You Be Mine. Any other suggestions for me? Make her look more like Regina. I think she's looking cute so far. Maybe too cute is the problem. Dark purple. Could you be mine? And teacher's pet has an apple. Thank you. Let's see. Yes, the dark purple looks good. Um, I think I'll fade it into a, a black color. I think it would be more fitting if she had like horns or something. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Maybe she should be like peeking over the hedge. Should we do her peeking over the hedge? He's waiting for um no to eat the apple. We can maybe do a little basket with some apples on it, maybe. Something like that. Amanda says this is going to be so cute. I hope Piper, I hope she gets it. I think she will.
definitely okay i could maybe give regina horns instead of a halo she doesn't really have horns in the show so we'll just leave it I'll trim off this excess Does anyone have any other ideas of how to make this evil witch less stinking here? <laughs> Let me show you. Did you think she looks adorable? Not really the look I was going You might just pop her down. Maybe we could hide her behind the bale of hay. Jeez, ha 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 ha. We need to eat the apple. Let's get a big juicy red apple. From Cool You Be Mine. Yeah. I think the um, apple in Teacher's Pet is maybe bigger. All of Regina's apples, poisonous apples, of course, are um, super red and shiny. So we'll definitely have to make this one. Red and shiny. Maybe even have some glossy accents on it after the fact, of course. I'm not going to do it now because I'll end up ruining it. <laughs> Like, no, no, don't eat it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, put the apple on the bale. Yeah, that's a good idea. Or in her, oh, or in her hand. Roberta says, I love how this simple card is evolving. I love it when it ends up having like a bit of a story, don't you? So I'm thinking either in her hand. So Regina is uh, like, <laughs> She's going to, she's going to eat it. And she can either be behind the fence or behind, uh, so she can be behind the fence. I'm doing this because I probably won't put her up there where she's like super high. I'll probably put her down a wee bit lower. So this could either be here or it could be on there. And I'm thinking I might put like a mouse or something on here.
No and her little animal friends. But Regina's like in the background. And I might stamp a couple more of the little clouds. Which I think will be cute. What's your thoughts, everyone? I'd love to know. I remember there's a little bow in this set. So I'm going to stamp that as well. And maybe add it to her hair, perhaps. Candy says, I've missed the name of this show. It's called Once Upon a Time. And kind of the premise of the show is that the fairy tales are all real. And the evil queen, Regina, she um, had a curse on the land which brought all the um, people to a different kingdom, a different world, which didn't have magic, i.e. the real world. So that's the idea. I'm going to do my best fussy cutting here on this little bow. Because it just looked like it was standing out too much on her hair. With the white trim around it. Apologies if you can um, hear messages coming through on my phone. My brothers and sisters are all planning a get together for my mommy and my daddy and their upcoming 50th wedding anniversary. All right, this cute little bow is really going to make her hair pop. Jasmine said, I think behind the fence for Regina. I think so too. Oh, so cute. But we do need to color it in a bit more. There we go. Candy says, oh yes, I watched the first three seasons. I've only done one season, so you're ahead of the game for me. Then life got busy and I canceled having TV. I missed the rest. I need to catch up. Yes, it's on. We're watching on Disney at the moment. Disney Plus. So Jasmine thinks Regina should be behind the fence. 
it's over here. Whoa. Maybe some more. She still looks too cute. Far too cute. Let's put some foam on her. In fact, I'm going to put the thicker, slightly thicker foam tape on her just to make her a little bit deeper. Nessa said 50 years. Yes, my mom and dad are married 50 years. What? Crazy. Oh, what's that? I think she has a mischievous look about her with, with uh, yeah, with oh. Maybe if she had her mouth open. Oh, oh, oh. And do you think we should have the um, apple in her hand? Like so? Or do you think we should have the apple over here on the bale of hay? Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, questions. Connie says Regina was one of my favorite characters, to be honest. <laughs> I totally get that. <laughs> Jazz says in her hand. Makes it even more like imminent danger. Maybe we could put a little mouse over here. And instead of using the my mice, even from Hello Squeak Heart, I'm maybe going to use the mouse from Perfect Day, which is actually a little toy mouse, but I think it'll work better in regards to the sizes and proportions. That's my thought anyway. Nice. Right, perfect day. Little brownie mice. And you give it pink ears because why not? I'm trying to think I have any like little cute birds, little birdies to go up there. Any ideas? Maybe we'll just add a few more clouds. Oh, 
awesome. He's looking great. In her hand, 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 hand. Yes, everybody says hand. Yes. Jasmine says, yes, the little mouse would work better, I think. I think it looks super cool, but I'm not liking how sparse the top area is. So I'm going to, ooh, maybe we could put her like palace in the background. That could actually work. Could have a palace in the background. Let's just try it. might give more of a um, fairy tale kind of look to him. Oh, put a mouse on the horse's back. Yeah, you can put a mouse on the horse's back, a second mouse. That would be cute. The question is, what color should we do our palace? Should we do our palace in the background here? Like so, in the distance. Maybe some grays with a pinky tint. Or, oh, this turned out to be a purple. Jasmine says, it's looking fab. I'm heading off to bed now. Got busy again early. Leslie, don't forget to send me these details. Oh, yes, yes, don't worry. It'll not be tonight, but it will tomorrow. Don't worry, Jazz. I know where you live. So I'm kind of wanting to have a bit more of a whimsical feel to this castle. So I've done some pink and purple tones. Completely forgotten this whole section here. Silly me. Um, I completely lost that one that I used. Back to do. 
I have pink and blue suggested Nessa. Well, we have pink and purple. Um, we can maybe do blue for the uh, turrets. And I'm going to come in with a little gray because I want it to be in the background. There we go. And we'll do a gray door. And a gray shade in the windows. W5. Let's darken that up a little bit. W7. All right, let's cut it out and see how it looks, shall we? You'll have to give me your honest opinion. Does it look too much? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go for sentiment in the end, so maybe that will change your opinion. Let's see what you think. So I was thinking maybe over here somewhere. But that might make this um, side a little unbalanced. Put it here. And I think that actually makes my clouds a bit better as well. Amanda says the castle looks great in the background. So yeah, I think I'm going to take that as a win and pop that in there. I'm actually going to trim it away ever so slightly. Just so I can tuck it down. A little bit more. So it's not touching the very top. Yeah, I think this is looking really, really cool. And I think all we need to do is pretty much add um, some white gel pen dots to it. So let me go grab my gel pen. Ooh.
See if I can get going. And I'm going to add a selection of lines and dots. Just to kind of pick up the light a little bit. All right, I know my head's in the way. Definitely on the apple. I think I'm going to have to um, cover that in um, go off the accents or diamond glaze, whichever. I don't know if anyone has any um, tricks or tips for um, adding white gel pen accents. I historically have a little bit of a love-hate relationship with uh, gel pens. But um, Davina on our design team, she she always seems to add like little dots, like little flecks of dots, even along the stamping lines. And I just think it looks so beautiful. You get like a lot of texture from it. So I'm trying to unleash my inner Davina here. <laughs> Sometimes I like to, um, instead of the gel pen, use my Copic opaque white ink I'm a big fan of that too Um, I'm going to add some Wink of Stella to these clouds to make them shimmer. That's looking good. I'm going to let that dry for a second and then do another. Another layer on it, but with my 
gel pen, I'm going to add a couple of little dots. And I want to bring in that um, dusk kind of feeling as well. Let's bring that kind of texture throughout the whole card. Ooh, it turns out this is my gold one, not my silver one. But that's okay. Get a nice gold and shimmer on there. Beautiful. All right, I think I'm going to call that done. With the exception of my crystal glaze. So I'm going to add my crystal glaze to the apple and then I'm going to call it a night because I'm very pleased with this. What did that say? Uh, yes, I'm very pleased with this and I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> And I have a big weekend ahead of me of moving furniture. I need my rest. That's going to be one super glossy, shiny, poisonous apple. Ah, I can eat the apple flow. No. <laughs> so there you go. I can't lift it up now. But I hope you guys had fun and thank you so much for joining me as I made this video and for all of your help, which helped turn this into a, um, a fun card inspired by the show Once Upon a Time. Um, I hope you have a happy crafty weekend as well and I shall see you again next week um, and if you are still looking for something crafty to watch morgan and i did a crafty live over on the heffy doodle youtube earlier today so if you want to go back and watch that if you get bored go ahead and do that until next time then i shall see you later bye